Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is a great day because today we're checking out Adobe XD's March update, which is a pretty big update. I also have a Telegram channel where you can chat with me one on one and I'm forming a big community over there. So click on the link in the description and join the community. I want to know from you guys, what, which is your favorite Adobe XD feature? Go in the comments and tell me your favorite Adobe XD feature. Okay, so the first feature allows us to scroll to any part of the artboard by just clicking on one single element. So if I click on rectangle, it will scroll down to rectangle. If I click on circle, it will then scroll down to the circle. Now that is pretty cool. You can use this inside any of your artboards and it will animate on scroll. To use this, just click on whatever element you, you want to use as a trigger. Go to prototype and under prototype, click on this plus right next to the interaction. And under this tap should be on and inside type, uh, click on scroll to. And in the destination, click on, in this case, I will set it to polygon one. And that's about it. You can then also change how much offset you want from the top. So that will be the distance from on the Y axis. Uh, or you can just change ease and out and say about 0 0.8 seconds. And if I play this, click on the triangle. See how it smoothly just scrolls down to the triangle. Now this is a wonderful feature. Now the next feature is called voice playback and it allows me to play any MP3 file inside my Adobe XD prototype. So in this case, I can just choose this rectangle, click on the plus icon right next to it while prototype is on any trigger. So in this case, I might uh, set the right key, right arrow key. And rather than saying scroll to, I can even say audio playback. And that is pretty awesome. If I click on audio playback, it asks me to choose a audio file and I can add any new audio file. In this case, um, I'll probably add something like bounce ball, which I have, which is just a simple song and I'll import this. If I go to the play or preview button here and I click on the right arrow key, see what happens now. I'll just put the volume to full and hopefully the mic will catch it. Hey. See, I just pressed the right arrow key and it played and I can keep on repeating it if I click on this right arrow key. Oh, this is pretty cool to be honest. You can even record your own voice and then maybe add a voiceover to your artboards. Third feature is pretty simple, but it is very useful if you're writing paragraphs of text. So in this case, I'll draw an area text box, which I'll just click on the text box and just drag the text box around. Now this is an area text box. Inside this, what I'll do is just copy, uh, I don't know, this heading of this Adobe blog and I'll probably put it, put this text inside this. That's pretty cool. But now this area text box is pretty big. So much like in Figma, I can just double tap on one of these circles at the bottom. If I just double tap, see how it automatically adjusts to the height of this text. Right now we have no uh, capability to adjust it with the width. The height shortcut is pretty cool. I'll give the link to this blog in the description so you can check out all the features in detail. But that's about it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. I'll appreciate it. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. So be subscribed to, to receive all notifications. And I will see you in the next one. God bless.